Good afternoon, good morning, and good night. I'm here with my lovely wife, Laura. Hello. And we are going to take a look at the Price is Right board game. The Australian version? The Australian version, yeah. yes. So it's um, on the back, we'll show in a second, it's from my like copyright, you know, Channel 9. and Which is the TV channel think, in Australia that it was Grundy. on. Grundy. Grundy, yeah. yeah. So uh, it's basically exactly what it is. Um, it's the Price is Right in a box. A game show in a box. So yeah. it contains all the rules and sort of bits and uh, everything you need to host the world's most popular audience participation game show in your home. Yeah. So it's got like uh, all the bits of cardboard to write prices on, and the instructions are pretty. You'll see, though. The You'll see. The instructions are very comprehensive, um, and they really play it up as a. You really are the show hosting a, a, a game of the Price is yeah. Right. Um, so there's no like kind of amount of people you can play with. Um, you can kind of play with as many as you want. Um, and, and obviously just if you have like, you could play with 20 people. Um, but then it would be like a real Price is Right audience and not everyone would get to come on down and play. Yeah. So otherwise if you've just got a few you can do that as well. Oh, we've got something holding it up back there. <laughs> Now, this is a massive box. I don't know if it you can is see. huge. It's about yeah. three or four kilos. Um, just trying to have the screen there. Yeah. So yeah, Fremantle Media, Grundy, and Channel Nine. Uh, yeah. It. It's kind of a, a good idea of what's in it, and obviously, you know, everyone seems to be really excited about playing it in that picture. I way know why. too excited. Yeah, I love it, but still, it takes quite a lot of setup. Yes. Um, which you'll kind of be able to see as we go through the video, because you'll see you've got to write a lot of prices on, which means you need to know the prices of products. It actually suggests going it says, for. It actually yeah. says. Next time you go grocery shopping, keep the docket because you need... It's funny though, inside it actually tells you, go on a specific shopping trip just for the game. Because yeah. you need, for some of the games, um, things that have exact prices between, you know, like a dollar and three dollars, for example. I just wanted to show you something else. Just in case anyone was wondering, the host models and prizes are uh, not included. <laughs> um, my money back. I know, it's awful. So it's, it's kind of a cool party game. Um, we obviously are about to play it on our own in this video because we didn't really have a whole bunch of people who would want to be involved in a video and like this. Our son's this. a bit young to be guessing prizes. <laughs> he, he, he can't even speak he yet. can't see the thing, but it's actually 12 plus. So. 12 plus. All right, Nathan, are you ready to come on down? Come on down where? And play some prices right. You know where. I Let's am. do it. I am. All right. So now that Nathan is our blue contestant here, uh, well, normally we would play this next game. We don't have three other people for Nathan to compete against. So we're just going to give you a quick idea of how it goes. So when you've got your four contestants, they will have their own podium and their own place to write everything on the bidding tag. Yes, you have a pen. There's. You may take your bidding tag. Mm-hmm. Now, what everyone does is puts a bid in for the prize behind the Price is Right door. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. depends on who gets closest without going over the price, who gets selected to play the game. So, the item you could win... What is it? The item up for grabs today, I think they say on the Something show... Something like that. ...is a dangly potato. This is a potato you can sit on your shelf and its feet will dangle off the edge. Looks pretty angry. All right. Nathan, what do you bid? Write it down. Okay, I bid. Uh, yeah, it's an angry potato. It's holding the peas up. All right. Six dollars. No, Six hundred dollars. <laughs> eh, I'm sorry. Our bidder has gone over the price. <laughs> These are, I think, uh, about six dollars. So you would have been all right oh, if you put a. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Let me just. Uh... There we go. Six dollars. Yay! You got the exact price. <laughs> Woo! All right, now you get to play a game, Nathan. It's time for the grocery game. Are I you like, ready to play? I do like groceries. Behind our prize door for this game, <gasps> you could win an amazing Wizard of Oz Wicked Witch <gasps> Wacky Wobbler Bobblehead. It's, it's an exact likeness of yourself. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Comes in box with bobbling. Actually, it doesn't bobble lots in the box. You but know, I you wish know. that they had a spin in the box. They had like a spinning one. You know how usually the showcase sort of spun around and that was a model sort of. <laughs> that might be a bit tricky. <laughs> All right. So for the grocery game, you have five grocery items uh, mm -hmm. here. We'll introduce those in just a moment. What you need to do is purchase enough of these items to equal between ten and eleven dollars. Okay. 
Now, you can purchase any amount of each mm -hmm. item, as, mm -hmm. but after you purchase one, you can't purchase it again. I see. All right, so let's take a look at our items. We have a Stay Fresh brand uh, Spick Bright Giant Scourer. Good for slicing fingers and getting grime off dishes. We have a Woolworth Select brand Dark Cooking Chocolate. That's 200 gram packet. We have two litres of Tropical Golden Circle Juice. And by the way, it's got no added sugar or preservatives. That's right. Could be important. We have a pack of Huggies Natural Care Baby Wipes. 56 in the pack. And our last That's a weird number item. of baby wipes. It in is a, pack. a weird a number. Our last item is Little Bally's Baby Puffs Baked Apple Cinnamon Flavor. And that is a 12 gram pack for nine months plus. One of our son's favorites. Yes. All right. Now, what would you like to purchase first? Now, between 11 and $12. 11 and $12. That is correct. To win the Wacky Wobbler Bubble Head of the Wizard of Oz Wicked Witch. Hmm. <sighs> Never thought I'd have to say that in a hurry. I think the baby puffs are about $3, so I'm going to buy two baby puffs. Two packs of baked apple cinnamon baby puffs. Ooh. They are $2 each, which brings you to $4. Okay. What would you like to purchase next? Mm, I'll get... Hmm... Two dark chocolates. Two packs of the Woolworth Select dark chocolate. They are two dollars mm -hmm. fifty each, which takes you up to nine dollars. And I want to get three of the scourers. Three of the scourers. Yes. The uh, Spick Bright Giant Scourer is worth one dollar mm. twenty. Um, not sure that this looks good for you. I'm sorry. That brings your total to $12.60. I should have gotten one less of the scourer. You should have bought a scourer. Less than you still would have been over. <laughs> Unfortunately, that means you don't win the Wacky Wobbler Bubble Head Wicked Witch from the Wizard of Oz. Hang on, if I brought one less, it would take me down to eleven eighty. Isn't that between 11 and 12 10 and 11 you had to get between. Oh, I thought it was 11 and 12 You've got to listen to the instructions. Oh, you see. I should have brought one then. We'll have to move right along with move the new right contestant. Along. We're going to play the race game next. I hope you're not going to be racist about it. I'm not, no. Good. So, we have four lovely products. Let's take a look at them. We have our Kellogg's Sultana brand, 730 gram box but of cereal. Does it come with the movie Getaway? It does oh, not. A giveaway. No, no, it does not. Damn. <laughs> we also have a pack of Baby Mum Mum First Rice Rusks for an 8 plus month old. And there's 18 rusks per box. We have a whoops box of very licious naturally nude smooshed whole food bars. There's four in the pack. And our fourth item is a kid's pick. A 20 pack of single serves of Smith's Chips, Twisties, Cheetos and Burger Rings. Is the Z extra or not? No. Okay. Zs are included. Okay, so what Nathan is going to have to do as our uh, contestant for today is take these four different prizes and he has to rush to get them onto the right prize. So just so you know, there's a little slot there that you can sit them in. So when I turn over the egg timer, you're going to take these, Nathan, rush to get them all in the right spot. When you've got all four in, I'll tell you how many you've got right, and then you can make changes if you want to until the time runs out. Oh, uh, yes. If you get all four right, I will obviously let you know. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Some of the price have rubbed off, so it makes it extra challenging. Can you see them? We have... <laughs> so we have... Oh. <laughs> yeah, they have rubbed off. Hang on. Let's just... By the way, these are... Uh... That shiny sort of texture so they can sort of rub them off. It's just like a whiteboard um, marker, which is good too because we don't have the one that came with it, so we've had to use another one today. So, just fixing these. So, your prices are $2.99, $5.50, $5.39. Are you ready, Nathan? I am. Are you ready? Yes. Set? Yes. Go. All right. Race, race. You've only got 45 seconds. Uh, uh, I think $5 for the... This. For this. 
550 for the cereal. 299 for the baby mum mums. Or maybe it, it's it's five dollars for the health food because they're usually more expensive than three thirty nine for the chips. You have one right. Oh damn! And you're running out of time. Uh, um, swap them. <sighs> you have two right. Oh. Uh, Not so much time left. It's going down quick, quick. Uh, you're out of time. And let's take a look at how you went. So, our 730 gram box of Kellogg Sultana Bran is worth uh, $3.39. So, we were a bit off there with the $5. Our baby mum mum first rice rusk, vegetable flavoured, I forgot to mention that earlier. They were $2.99. So, you've won that box. I can feed my baby. Yay! Uh, you might have to do the honors, I can't reach over there. Mm. Our nude bars were actually $5.50, so you went on the cheap side there. I... And our 20 pack was $5, which you did have in the beginning, but never, never mind. It's for these okay? expensive ones, those are like 50 cents between them. Oh, yes, they I threw know. you off those two, didn't they? And I think that was on sale at Sultana brand. It was. Because that's usually about the $5 mark, I, I think. I think it's more normally, but <laughs> it was on sale for three thirty-nine. dollars So right. all I won was the baby mum mums. Yes, so congratulations. You may enjoy your prize. All right. It's time to play two price tags. So let's start by seeing the prize you are playing for today. You're playing for a 200 gram box of Nestle Cerelac Infant Cereal. Mm. It's from 8 months plus, muesli with banana and apple, has probiotics with bifidus B. It's also made in Germany. Alright, now that you've seen your possible prize, Nathan, let's bring out your prices. So, we're playing at two price tags. You have two different prices here. Very simple. All you need to do is pick which one is the price of this Nestle Infant Cereal. Price number one is three dollars fifty. Price number two is two ninety nine. Do you know what's irritating? Feel free to consult the audience. Do you know what's irritating about this? Mm. I know that the this price can be this one or this one depending if it's on sale or not. Mm, I see. So it depends. Is it a, the sale price or the regular retail price? Well, what you need to do is pull out which of the prices you think it's not and leave the one up there that you uh, think it is. I think you've got it on sale, so I'm pulling out $3.50. Alright, so you're going with two ninety nine as the price of this 200 gram box of infant cereal. Correct. Alright, let's reveal the price. Are you ready? I am ready. Have you won? Oh, their stands are a bit flimsy, so yes. you should always hold on to them. Oh, oh. Mm. I did buy it on special, but it's so expensive that the sale price is actually $3.50. Oh, no. So, I'm afraid uh, you'll oh. have to come back another time I'll and try for hungry. a different prize. <laughs> All right, let's see what's up for grabs for you next, Nathan. What is up for grabs for It's a Master Foods tomato sauce made in Australia in a 500ml convenient squeezy bottle. I like my ketchup. And a SanDisk 8GB Cruiser Facet USB flash drive. Ooh. Can I store the sauce on it? No. Oh. Now, to win this game, you are playing two for the price of one. Mm -hmm. So let's just put our prizes somewhere we can see them. Now, what you need to do in this game is guess the correct price for the Master Foods tomato sauce. Okay. So... The first number of the price can either be a 2 or a 1. Mm -hmm. The second number can either be an 8 or a 9. And the third can be either a 9 or a 5. What you need to do is use the little toggles at the top for lifting up and down so that the price you think it is ends up in the middle where these dollar symbols are. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Off you go. Oh. Now, sauce isn't that expensive. So I reckon it's, it's going to be... In the dollar range, uh, I haven't. We don't really get you know a dollar eighty five or anything like that here, so I reckon it's going to be nine, and I reckon it's five. So it's a dollar ninety five for the tomato sauce. Okay, so for the master food sauce, you're going with one dollar and ninety five cents. I am. All right, let's take a look at the correct price for you. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. you won 
the USB drive and tomato sauce bottle. Oh. oh, it was actually two dollars and eighty-five cents. I got one right. <laughs> you did. You got the five cents. Do I, do I get a third of it? No, you don't. I'm sorry. You 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 lost. <laughs> so uh, yeah, sauce is obviously more expensive than you think because the Master Foods is the nice brand of tomato sauce, rather than the Woolworth home or home brand. Yes, hmm. exactly. A bit more expensive. All right, now here we are. What is up for grabs in this round? We have. A double D pack of sugar-free gummy bears using natural stevia, which is a 90 gram packet. They're nice gummy bears. They are nice gummy bears. We have one litre of Woolworths Select, I think, free from lactose full cream milk. That's an odd name for a milk, by the way. Free from lactose. And a 500 gram pack of macro organic white quinoa. That has a five star health rating. Okay, so to win these amazing, very healthy, which is a total fluke, we're not health nuts at all, uh, to win these amazing prizes, you're going to play one dollar deal. Okay. What you need to do is guess... Please what... tell me more. I'm trying. <laughs> no interruptions, thank you. We're on live television. <laughs> all right. You need to guess the price of the total for these three products. Mm-hmm. I can tell you there are four digits in the price, obviously with a decimal point in between. Mm -hmm. In between the middle, that is, of course. What you need to do is, from left to right, guess each digit in the four-digit price tag. Okay, now, for every number that you are out, so for example, if you guessed the first number was three, but it was actually two, you have to pay one dollar out of your pile of dollars here. Sweet. If you guess the exact number, we reveal it, and you get to keep these dollars. All you need at the end is one dollar left to buy these amazing prizes. I can't wait for my... I keep on thinking that says free foam lactose. I'm sorry, there's no foam lactose okay. milk here. All right, what do you think the first digit in the price tag is? Well, it's four digits, so it's good, and it's not going to be over twenty dollars, I certainly hope, so I think it's one. One. All right, shall we have... Oh, look, there's our dollar symbol. It's a one. Yes. All right, so you get to keep all your dollar coins or yes. tokens there. What's now, the next I think the number? quinoa is about 7 or $8, and the milk's about a dollar fifty two. So let's say 7 plus a dollar fifty. So it's a 2, 3. I reckon the next number is a 2. A 2. A 2. All right, are we ready? Let's reveal. The next digit is a uh, two. So you still get to keep all of your $1 tokens. Now we've got our decimal point next. All right, your uh, third digit. You're doing really well here. So eight plus uh, ten. So I reckon it's a... Time's running out. Uh, tick -tock, five. Tick -tock, a five. Let's see Gotta how go you go. Oh, it's oh, actually a two, so I'm going to need back. three back. One, two, three. How many do you have left in your hand there? One, two, three, four. All right. You need to be... And I reckon it's a five again. You need to be within four digits... Five. ...to win this. Right All in right. the middle. Going with a five. Are you ready? You're in a good position. I am in a good position. It's an eight, so you'll have to <laughs> hand One, over two, three. One, two, three, and... Oh! Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations, you've won the one litre free from lactose full cream milk, the sugar-free double D gummy bears, and the 500 gram bag of organic white quinoa. All right, it's time for today's showcase. Congratulations, Nathan, you've made it all the way through. By default. Yes, there was no competition, of course, because it's just you and I here. All right, let's see what's on offer in today's showcase. We have a jar of Master Foods Ginger finely chopped and that's a 160 gram variety next on the showcase we have a 500 gram bag of home brand fine desiccated coconut the best coconut you could ask for that won't stand up <laughs> we have a 95 gram tin of oh, worst select tuna sweet chili flavor with a four star health rating we have a Five pack of Helga's Wholemeal Lower Carb Wraps. And it comes pre-opened, by the way, I see. Pre-opened, because we used some for lunch. <laughs> All 
on the show, of course. That's what show, I mean. Yeah. yeah. We also have something that's not going to fit on camera, which is a three value pack of Symphony tissues. Each box contains 228 white facial tissues, which are two ply, by the way. Yeah. That affects your Ooh. choices. <laughs> We're destroying the, the set. The set. Our sixth item on today's showcase is Earth Choice Dishwash Liquid in the popular Lemon Fresh scent, mm. one litre bottle. And our very last item that you'll be playing for today is a home brand lemonade, 1.25 litres with no artificial flavours. However, it does have just a one star health rating. Lemonade, please. So, these could all be yours and more on the price is right. I think that's If that. the price is right, I think I it think is. that's what that's yeah. yeah. Just did that from memories. I haven't watched the price is right in a while. Okay, so here are the, uh, the prices. I was going to say, we're not reveal those. Here is everything you could win in today's showcase. Yes. Now, what you need to do is bid on the value of the showcase. Normally, you would be competing against someone else, but there's no one else mm -hmm, here to compete mm -hmm. against. I can tell you that this showcase is valued between $15 and $20. Oh my god. It's a big showcase that today. <laughs> now, uh, you will bid for it and I will let you know if it's higher or lower. So 15 to how much, sorry? 15 to $20. Feel free to start bidding, Nathan. $17.50. Higher. $18.20. Higher. $19.85. Lower. Nineteen dollars and fifty cents. Lower. Nineteen dollars and thirty cents. Lower. Sorry, just knocked the camera too. Nineteen dollars and fifteen cents. Lower. Nineteen dollars and ten cents. Lower. Nineteen dollars. Lower. We could be here a while, folks. Eighteen dollars and fifty cents. Higher. Eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents. Lower. Eighteen dollars and sixty cents. Higher. $18.65. Higher. $18.70. Lower. $18.68. Lower. $0.67. Cents. You think it's worth just $0.67? Cents? $18.67. <laughs> Lower. $18.66. Congratulations! Woo! Our showcase today is valued at $18.66, and I thought Nathan was going to be here forever. Lucky we weren't competing against yeah. anyone else, hey? Lucky I wasn't actually on the show. It's <laughs> a good point. All right. Now, what you need to do is put these in order from the lowest price right up to the most expensive price. Mm -hmm. Now, just to give you a little bit of help, we've put the most expensive item at the bottom here, which is the five pack of Helga's wraps. And they ring in at a total of $4.99. So they will stay where they are, and it's just the other six prizes that you will need to organize um, into, as I said, lowest to highest. All right. Are you ready? Are you prepared? I am prepared. Do you think you can do this? I think I can. All right. Uh, normally this is timed, but you can take as long as you want to okay. organize them. Off you go. All right. <clears throat> so I reckon the tin of tuna is the cheapest thing. Oh, then again, that home brand lemon, I think the lemonade is actually cheaper. And the tuna comes in second. And then we have, I think the tissue three pack is second most expensive. Uh, coconut is pretty cheap. Jar of ginger. With the dishwashing liquid, you've placed it down. All right, I reckon that's it. Is, is that your final answer? Wrong yeah. game show, but... That is my final answer. That's your final answer. Lock it in, Larry. Lock it in, Larry, right. Oh, I don't think I look that manly. <laughs> okay, let's start revealing your prices mm. and see how you went. Let's start with the lemonade. You were quite confident about that being the lowest. I think so, just. That is 69 cents. Mm -hmm. So it's a good start, a good start. The audience is giving me polite little claps. Oh, they? Oh, okay. Let's jump down here to the pack of tissues, mm -hmm. shall we? I think we should. And tissue three pack is four dollars. So uh, doing well. Doing well. Doing I'm, well. I'm confident so far. You're confident. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's have a look then at the jar of ginger there for you. The jar of ginger is three dollars. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I'm looking good. Feeling good. Feeling nervous. No, I'm not. No? I'm, I'm confident. confident? Let's take a look at the tuna down there then. It's not a tuna. Your tin of tuna is 79 mm -hmm. cents. Yep, all right. Just the coconut and the dishwashing Ooh. liquid left. How are you feeling now? I could go either way. Could go either way. Okay, let's have a look at the dishwashing liquid next. 
and that is a dollar ninety nine. You still Ooh. confident the coconut has to be more than seventy nine cents, but less than a dollar ninety nine. I, I, I should have swapped them. That coconut was worth oh three dollars and twenty cents. Uh, it was uh, more expensive than the dishwashing liquid and the jar of ginger. Uh, That's all right. Uh, you are going away with some lovely prizes, such as some um, infant. Cereal? No, uh, sorry, infant rice rusks, I should say. And some, uh, free, some free foam lactose free. <laughs> white quinoa and a bag of sugar free uh, jelly babies as yes. well. So you're not going away empty handed today, just uh, missed out on that showcase. Oh, so congratulations no. and thanks for playing. Well, I suitably sucked at guessing all those prices. Lucky there wasn't any good prizes on offer for you because, no. well, you would have been really disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you can probably see, um, there's a lot of setup involved. Yeah. Um, well, hell, it probably took you a couple of, not a couple of hours? Yeah, it took me a while, yeah, because I had to go through, like, the receipt and pull things yeah. back out of the cupboard from the shopping we'd already put away because we didn't do a separate shop for it, like no. it suggests. Um, but it is quite easy to sort of erase the prices and reuse again, which is good. Um, it's actually quite fun, and they're, they're pretty true to life of what you'd play on the show, yeah. which you'd hope so considering obviously doesn't have all of the great games like what's the one with like the yodeling guy oh uh, yeah and obviously doesn't have that one because that pl the guy on moves there. on it but yeah I mean I enjoy playing yeah so if you yeah. got, got I'd say probably probably five people one being the host and the other four being the contestants yeah I think that would be a lot better uh, rather than just you playing all the games and not winning um, and that was just the guide as well that will be down below if you need a copy of it if you've got the game but are missing the instructions I wonder is there an American version of the prices right we've got the American you mean board game obviously yeah. there's a television show we've got the um the Poplinko prices right little electronic one mm. we don't actually have one for just the whole actual show as a, to a whole. from America yeah so, I'm, I'm not sure let us know if you know if there's like another board game version of this um, yeah. for overseas yeah but if you enjoyed watching this video please give us a thumbs up or let us know down below don't forget to hit subscribe thanks for watching bye bye